I would like to show you Fodga 500dp follow focus and the rail system. This is how it looks before I took it apart. Here I'm removing lens holder and uh, follow focus itself. It's a bit tight. And rails. Those are aluminium pipes. Camera base. All done. Well, maybe almost all. You could uh, take it apart even further. Here I have an element which is connecting tripod to the rails. You can take it apart and doing those two screws. Here we can attach something. This part is exactly same but it has a lens holder element attached. At the bottom this element doesn't have anything attached. There are two threaded holes so you could add something. As you can see they are exactly same. Now is the time to take a closer look onto the camera mounting plate. Again it has two screws which are exactly same as those before. Distance between them is exactly same as in the other parts. On the top you have rubber things which are preventing camera from sliding. After using it for the first time I found a really annoying problem, which is this metal arm looks slightly too far. It's really annoying when you're out with the camera on it and you're trying to change something and you really can't because you cannot lock it. Hopefully I found a way how to fix it. And now I'm gonna show you. Problem is the screw. A uh, screw is made out of two parts, you can easily undo them. Metal arm has a thread inside. Here is the trick. Uh, grab an arm and the bolt, uh, undo them just few turns and screw them back into the rail. Now it's locking in the correct position. It's really easy, and what's the most important, now it's a stress-free. Here I want to show you um, how it works in real life when you're trying to, you know, put it together and uh, lock in place. Yep, the arms are a bit uh, too close. That one is fine. So I'm trying to figure out which one I should undo. I'm trying to undo the screw just to make it loose. Tight it back. It's almost. Glass. It's a bit confusing. Yep, now it's fine. That one goes slightly too far. Yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, 
the other side is fine, that one is good now. Everything is done. It's a uh, nice compact and uh, you can use really short lens. This is a geared belt or timing belt. I'm not really sure how to call it. It's made out of uh, rubber. Uh, really soft and flexible. Now I will show you how does it work on the lens. It's really easy, you just wrap it around and uh, tie the screw and it's pretty much done. As you can see, it has really good grip. It's not sliding on the lens. I'm gonna undo it and uh, put it on a zoom ring. And finally hooked up to the camera. As you can see, it works really nice. And um, I want to point uh, on one small but very important part, the lens holder. Take a look what's happening uh, to the lens without the lens holder. It's moving up and down. You see and now the same with the lens holder it's really really steady <laughs> 